The deputy director of Russia's Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation has confirmed that India has placed a request for additional 18 Su-30 fighter jets and 21 upgraded MiG-29 fighter jets from Russia. The Indian Air Force already has a sanctioned strength of 272 Su-30 fighter jets and also operates 69 MiG-29 fighter jets, and these 39 new fighter jets will add two more squadrons to its fleet of combat fighters. He also added that Russia has also received a request for modernizing 450 T-90 tanks of the Indian Army. Russia has started work on the two unused hulls of Grigorovich class frigates, which will be turned into advanced Tulwar class frigates for the Indian Navy. As per latest reports, the frigates have been launched into water by the ship manufacturer, and the ships are expected to be delivered to India by 2022, which will be equipped with the Brahmos system. The frigates being built in India will cost around 50% more as compared to the Russian counterparts, as new infrastructure are being created for the production. In the P-75I tender for the supply of six submarines to the Indian Navy, Russia has offered to jointly design the submarine with India, and joint production of lead vessel of the class, which is more profitable in technological terms as compared to the licensed production of submarines. Russia has participated with submarines of Project 636 and Project 1650, and the Russian side has offered to transfer all intellectual property for the design and prototype construction, and there will also be no limit to the number of submarines built by India. The Amor-class submarine is one of the latest Russian submarine design with improved acoustic stealth and new combat systems, along with their independent propulsion system. According to the Deputy Director of Russia's Federal Service for Military and Technical Cooperation, India and Russia have recently held the first meeting of a working group on the post-purchase maintenance of military hardware, and have agreed to sign an intergovernmental agreement on the production of spare parts in India. He also added that Russia has offered India to resume its participation in the joint program to develop the FGFA fifth-generation fighter jet, while India and Russia have started the discussion on the deep upgrade of Su-30 fighter jets under the Super Shukhoi program. Russia has said that sanctions will not prevent Russia from participating in the Indian MMRCA tender for 110 fighter jets, and it will not affect the deliveries if Russia wins the fighter jet tender. The Indian Air Force is undertaking life extension study on its old anti-aircraft systems, to determine if these systems can continue in service. India has over 25 squadrons of the medium-range Pecora surface-to-air systems, and the Indian Air Force has a plan to modernize and upgrade the systems, to extend its life by at least 10 to 15 years. External agencies which have the required experience are also being invited to carry out part of the project. According to latest reports, the UK-based company James Fisher Defence has completed sea acceptance trials and training activities on the second submarine rescue systems built for the Indian Navy. The Indian Navy and James Fisher Defence have conducted multiple dives of the rescue vehicle for both fixed and angle targets, and the second vehicle will be inducted into the service very soon.